Hi viewers, in today's video, Rwanda's president warned Africa is in danger of being left behind in COVID-19 vaccine rollout. If you are new here, do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will not miss our next video. Keep watching. We see the rest of the world vaccinating. We haven't. We haven't had so many, or if at all, in Africa. So that means we are still far behind on the queue. And uh, as I can see it, some people are not on the queue at all. So we are on the queue. We are waiting. So we, we will take any vaccines that come that we are told actually works. So whether it is Pfizer, it is Moderna, we want to have any of those as fast as we can. There's a real risk that Africa becomes the have-nots in a world of have and have nots and vaccinations as the developed economies europe the united states etc etc move forward africa lags seriously far behind and that will only exacerbate a poverty situation do you think so i think so i think so and it's not going to be the first we have seen most of the things happen in the last like 20 or so years where africa is lagging behind the rest of the world because of uh, what africa seems to be and in that part of the world we live in that uh, still has a lot of poverty still is not considered as the integral part of the global economy the way it should be and there's a problem of equity and, and so on and so forth so africa has that problem and we need to work at it and make sh things better on the economic front covid has the the, the real danger of putting the country's economic progress back many years. Not just here, I mean, I can choose any country in the world. But, but, but here, how concerned are you about that? We're very much concerned. We're already being affected. We can see it. I mean, when uh, there have been, we are now into the third lockdown we have had uh, in the last one year. Uh, and we see the businesses going down you see the growth that we had been used to in our country in 2019 our economy grew 9.2 uh, percent we expected to do better in 2020 then 21 also even better but that has all gone down we are around zero or one or two percent so we are definitely already witnessing the consequences of that and we are struggling with it. We are trying to do the best we can here, what we can do and work with the rest of the world. We have had uh, uh, access to financing uh, to deal with some, fill some of the gaps that exist. So it's going to be a hard struggle, but uh, nonetheless, we have to be prepared for it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and comment. Also subscribe and hit the notification button so that you will be notified when we drop our next video.